Across the country, more than 7,000 students become dropouts every school day. In Mobile County, 45% of students will not complete high school on time or ever. And it's not just an inner city problem, it's a countywide one as well. For those 45% of teens, their prospects are poor and their challenges daunting. In Mobile, we have a graduation crisis. If you can imagine uh, in the kindergarten, a giant yellow school bus, uh, that, that represents all with about 6,000 kids on it. That represents the students that start kindergarten or first grade. By the time those students get to their senior year, there are only 3,300 students still on that school bus. And we also have to think of the graduation line as the poverty line. Uh, 19,400 is the average income for a family uh, of that's the head of household as a dropout. The poverty line is $21,000. If these high school dropouts are fortunate enough to find a job, they will earn an estimated $12,258 less per year than those who graduated on time. It's easy to see what dropping out of high school is costing our teens, but does our community see what it's costing us? Because think about all the things that are connected to everything below that the part below that graduation line, below poverty line, uh, a greater uh, lower life expectancy, a greater chance of incarceration, a greater chance of babies having babies through generational poverty. Despite current gaps in Mobile's employment, national rankings continue to foresee a bright outlook for our area over the next few years, projecting job growth of 2.7% through 2013. However, it is also forecast that 85% of the jobs in 2020 will require advanced training or a two or four year degree. We've had a lot of blessings in our area recently and with the announcement of TK and Austell and just recently where Ingalls announced a, a great expansion in, in their workforce. So it's absolutely essential that we do all we can in our K-12 system to provide that workforce for companies that are here now and others that will come to our area. Therefore, it is clear that dropout prevention is not only a moral imperative, it is an economic one. It is not only a school district problem, it is a community problem that requires a response from every citizen, business and industry leaders, community-based and faith-based organizations, elected officials, educators, and parents. It requires a response from you. The Mobile Area Education Foundation has formed the 80 by 20 Community Initiative, designed to raise our high school graduation rates to 80% by 2020. Our goal is not just to see that our kids complete 12 years of school, but to produce young adults that are college and career ready. Can we do it? By working together, yes we can. So what makes a difference in the dropout rate? According to a 2006 study by the Public Affairs Research Council of Alabama, these factors matter most for getting our students to graduate on time. Attendance matters. 76% of students who didn't graduate missed eight or more days a year. Behavior matters. Students who received just one out of school suspension in middle or high school have only a 56% chance of graduating. Class failures matter. Students who received an F in a core course in sixth grade had a 65% chance of dropping out. Getting to ninth grade on time and failing a year of high school matters. A student who does not make it to the ninth grade on time has an almost 70% chance of dropping out. Students who repeat a grade in high school drop out quickly. What kids say matters. Well, before I came here, I went to a different school. I was learning stuff, but not as good as I am over here because they weren't giving me one-on-one -on -one help, they weren't breaking it down, I mean, none of that. And I, when I, the, day, the first day I started coming here, I saw a complete change on the first day. Becoming overaged and undercredited matters. Research indicates that this population of high school students are our eventual dropouts. Too few quality educational options matter. To address the needs of all students, multiple pathways are required for students to reach their goals. If you would imagine for just a moment uh, a giant archway, 
That arch represents the knowledge and skills that all students need to master to be college or career ready. We recognize that all students are different and that one pathway is not going to be enough to make a young person successful. So they have to have multiple pathways to graduation. Uh, that includes uh, things like international baccalaureate pro programs and engineering academies and healthcare academies, advanced placement courses, even night schools and schools that are designed that for students who might fall behind to catch back up and still graduate college and career ready. The Diploma Plus program came to be at BC Rain High School uh, through research of the Mobile Area Education Foundation, uh, finding a model that could be successful in helping students who were uh, not on track to graduate, who were over age and undercredited, to move them to the point of having enough credits to graduate and giving them so the social support and structures that they need to be successful in a high school setting. Communication matters. Communication must be improved between all stakeholders, including parents, schools, and community leaders. Mobilization matters. Across the nation, communities that have faced the dropout problem successfully have done so by working together. Policy barriers matter. Some current policies have the unintended consequences of putting marginal students at even greater risk. So now that we know what makes a difference in the success or failure of our teens in reaching the goal of graduating, what happens next? It's going to take a revolution to do this. It's going to take all of us working together, doing things differently than we've ever done them before, making sure that our high schools become not factories of, of mass production of students, but that we really look at what individual student needs are and make sure that we are delivering on a promise to each one of our children that, that their success matters to us. The class of 2020 is now in fourth grade. To make it to the goal of 80% by 2020, we've got to start working with them now. We know it will take a variety of strategies, early warning systems and interventions, programs that provide options for off-track youth, accelerated high schools, one-on-one -on -one support from mentors and teachers. Because of the EPIC program and the special classes that are offered through the EPIC program, you know, we're able to experience those different interests of ours which keep us engaged in school and, and, and excited and thinking about what we're going to do the next day, the different activities. So it's helped me to be excited about school and, and to think of different applications and way I can apply my science and math. While it involves programs, it also involves people. It's going to take the entire community to work together in order to solve this issue, to create multiple pathways. And that's exactly what we're focused on here at Mobile. Educators and business professionals, parents and faith-based leaders, juvenile justice officials, we are all stakeholders in the future of Mobile. And most of the education reform that we've seen in the last decade here in our community has, become, has come as a result of partnerships between the private sector, public sector, and the community, really kind of a tri-party agreement saying that we want to take ownership of this issue and that we are going to move lockstep toward the solutions that we, that we are seeking for our children. Through community conversations held in churches, schools, businesses, and homes, we will help ignite a long-term grassroots effort with the achievable goal of graduating a minimum of 80% of our students by 2020. The aim of the community conversations is to bring a geographical and diverse group of community residents and um, stakeholders together to talk about what they want in education. It's not an overnight goal. It, it really takes more than one conversation. We are looking at uh, making a lot of progress over an eight-year period in order to be able to accomplish this. Many conversations will help us reach that goal. What would an 80% high school graduation rate mean to Mobile? More students graduating ready would result in increased earnings, spending, home purchases, not to mention improved quality of life for those individuals. Historically, Mobile has shown that when it decides it's going to do something and everybody pulls together, we can accomplish almost anything. My question to you is, are you ready? Here are the reasons. I am the class of 2020. I am the class of 2020. I am the class of 2020. We are your future.